University TV, and here with me is Blue, the Blue Devil from Lawrence Technological University. Are you going to be a gentleman and show them you're on campus, you little devil? Let's check out what Princeton Review calls one of the best in the Midwest. Lawrence Tech is located in the suburban city of Southfield in Oakland County, Michigan. The location provides students an abundance of opportunities when it comes to their future endeavors. Oakland County is the nation's number one region for engineering, architecture, and technology jobs and opportunities. Over 60% of America's Fortune 500 companies operate here. There are also plenty of outdoor activities like skiing and water sports on the Great Lakes. Southfield is kind of the center of it all. So we have, not too far away, we have Birmingham, we have Royal Oak, and we also have downtown Detroit. So whether you want to go to a Lions game, a Red Wings game, a Tigers game, uh, it's not too far away. The beautiful 102-acre campus is a park-like oasis in this busy Detroit suburb. The university's original building was provided by Henry Ford and located on the site where he perfected the first moving assembly line. Lawrence Tech enrolls approximately 4,500 students, 28% women and 72% men represent 32 states and 46 countries. With an 11 to 1 student to faculty ratio, students will get lots of interaction with their professors. It was such small class sizes, it's really get to know your professors and other students. Uh, so it's a great opportunity to get involved and, and the professors really help you out with uh, getting involved on campus and different organizations and both in and outside of the classroom, they're definitely willing to help. Admission into Lawrence Tech is slightly competitive with a 50% acceptance rate. On average, those admitted scored 24 on the ACT and had an average 3.34 high school GPA. I knew I wanted to go into engineering, that's why I chose this school. Um, but it was really nice because they were able to introduce you to your major but not throw you in a way that was overwhelming and uncomfortable. Um, I felt really eased into a transition here. Tuition is about $29,000. To make your education more affordable, the university offers generous financial aid packages, which average around $21,000 per year. There are over 100 associate, bachelor's, master's, and doctoral programs offered by the university's four colleges. Engineering and technology-based programs are by far the most popular majors, followed by architecture and design. Well, so there's a lot of different opportunity out within the architecture program to kind of learn throughout the city and throughout other cities as well. And it's great, it really ties in with the engineering program, uh, especially the dual program that I'm in, is you get to do, you get to learn the structural aspect of it, the engineering aspect and the construction aspect, all while tying it in with the architecture program. Engineering is ranked a top tier program by US News and World Report. The university partners with industry partners to conduct research and students also have an opportunity to study abroad. Uh, I did a two-week study abroad program in Italy, so I got to go to Venice, Florence, and Rome. Uh, and again, the university helps put everything together. Uh, if you do the full semester study abroad, you can actually use financial aid for that as well. Lawrence Tech's Architecture School is the largest in Michigan and among the top 10 programs nationally. Plus, nearly half of licensed Michigan architects are Lawrence Tech grads. Within our architecture and design curriculum, there's many competitions that are actually integrated within the studio environment. So every year we, we have um, probably 10 to 15 students who are placing nationally in the top three categories for uh, awards that are, um, again, national and international competitions. Additionally, uh, we are, in terms of groundbreaking, we are opening up a new design center. It's called the Detroit Center for Design and Technology uh, in downtown Detroit. LTU has about 430 full-time and part-time faculty members. Part-time faculty give students an insider's advantage. Since they work in the industry, they bring a real-world perspective into the classroom. The big thing about the, the faculty and how they help is that uh, they're all uh, professionals within the industry. Um, that goes from the management to the architecture to the, to the engineering programs. Uh, and they know a lot of people within the industry as well. Lawrence Tech competes in the National Association of Intercollegiate Athletics and the American Collegiate Hockey Association. LTU Blue Devils varsity sports include basketball, soccer, hockey, lacrosse, volleyball, cross country, and bowling. We have uh, 14 different teams on campus. The biggest thing is that um, an 18-year-old freshman can come in and contribute to a team right away, so that's very appealing for a student athlete. Over 600 students reside on campus in apartment and community style housing. The average cost for room and board is just about $8,000 annually. 
Yeah, the housing here at Lawrence Tech is really great because they're all apartment style. So you get the feeling of being moved away from home, but it's not the small dorm style that you're used to seeing in a large university setting. Lawrence Tech has over 60 student organizations that include Greek life and thriving intramural and club sport programs. Other popular campus activities include homecoming, Winterfest, and Greek day. Even though the school color is blue, Lawrence Tech is going green. The Tubman Student Services Center is a LEED certified green building, heated and cooled by 120 geothermal wells located 300 feet beneath the quad. Vegetation and bioswales around campus and on the green roof naturally purify water by filtering out pollutants. We boast um, that 90% of our graduates um, are already employed. Um, they have job offers on the table before they graduate. Um, our transportation design program is 100% placement. LTU alums have gone on to head or invent some of the top companies around. The CEO of Microsoft, the inventor of laser barcode scanners and keyless door locks on cars, and the creator of the very first muscle car, the GTO, got their start at Lawrence Tech. Well, it looks like me and Blue are ending our tour here at the Student Services Center, but this is where you can start your own tour at Lawrence Technological University. For University TV, I'm Natalie, and I'll see you guys later.